26-year-old Ellie Puria St. Pierre of Vermont. She stands there proudly representing the farming community. She grew up and is still very much a part of the farming community. Grew up on a dairy farm in Vermont. Let's go, women's 1500 meter final. And there is very little wind. Whoa, there's some pushing and shoving. And Ellie Puria St. Pierre has a look around as she got pushed off track. Oh man, that is so distracting. You know, now there's a lot of big green. You know, I was worried this might happen. You have so many incredible women on. They all are good finishers. So nobody wants to take it out that hard. Nobody wants to be the one with the target on their back. And when that happens, you see bunching. People don't get out as quick, and you start to see some tripping. Well, this is this is quite interesting because Ellie's comments after the semi-final was, it wasn't my plan to lead from the front, but I wanted to make sure I got out and got away from the mess behind. She just got tangled up in that mess. Yeah, you know, again, we saw this yesterday that does such an adrenaline shot through your body, and then you have to come down from it and focus. She still has 1,200 meters to run. There's still a lot of running to do. She needs to relax, refocus on what she's doing right now. Corey McGee runs second. Hip number five there, Corey, who has been training with Joe Bossard. That's Emma Coburn's husband. She said that Joe has got her to the highest fitness level of her career. She is the best she has ever been. Let's see if that translates to an Olympic berth. You know, Joe Bossard really pushed her on her mileage and her strength, and that's hoping to pay off today. We see right behind her Danny Jones, who she trains with, the University of Colorado four-time NCAA champion, and right behind her is Nikki Hiltz. Hiltz ran, you may remember, at the 2019 World Championships in Doha, Qatar. That was great experience for Nikki. We see right behind Nikki, we see Sinclair Johnson and Shannon Osiko who have both had really great years this year. Both poised to make a run for it here. And then we see Simpson. Simpson is the veteran. She doesn't panic early on. She knows if she can keep her composure, stay in the hunt, she has a chance over that last 100 meters. So Jenny moves past Sinclair Johnson and up one more position. Field still led by Ellie Puria St. Pierre. The real ignition point for Puria St. Pierre was last winter, early 2020, when she broke the American record in the indoor mile. That was a real turning point of her career, a real point of self-belief that she was at that elite level. And look at her run now. You know, Ellie so Perrier St. Pierre is not messing around here. I talked to her coach, Mark Hugood, who told me she might take this race. She didn't want to leave anything up to risk. She felt comfortable leading from the front. We saw her do this in Mount Sac earlier this year, and he said that was all planned in preparation for this moment right now. Corey McGee ahead of Danny Jones. These two train together. Shannon Oseeker there in the blue and green. Shannon's come up into the top four, and they've broken away from Jenny Simpson and Nikki Hiltz. You know, it's so hard to run from the front like this, like Perrier St. Pierre is doing. But one thing I'll say about her, she is able to squeeze down the pace slowly and surely without any tell on her face or her body. She always looks so composed. So she might be squeezing it down, and you don't even realize it. As we see, a gap is opening up between them and third place. Here we go. It is one-on-one. -on -one. Ellie Puria St. Pierre up against Corey McGee, the 29-year-old from Mississippi. They have broken away from Shannon Oseeker. This is the race of Corey McGee's life. She has wanted this so bad. It, she has not made a U.S. team since 2013, and she is determined to make this happen today. They've met the Olympic standard. The two ladies up front show has Shannon Oseeker, by the way, who runs third. But it is Puria St. Pierre up against McGee in the Olympic trials in the women's 1500. Top this three get a, a berth to Tokyo. Oseeker has lost that third spot. Puria St. Pierre has now broken away. She's in a league of her own in this race, and she's going to become an Olympian. Ellie Puria St. Pierre is off to Tokyo, winning the women's 1500 in 358.03. It's tight for that third spot. Osika's going to miss out. I think it may have been Helen McLean. Lee, Helen McLean got into this race on protest. She finished outside of the capabilities to advance to the final, and she protested her way in. Now she just placed top three at the Olympic trials. Puria St. Pierre, Corey McGee, and Heather McLean, the top three. 358.03. That's a new Olympic trials record, by the way. And that was a determined run from the 26-year-old from Vermont.